exactly where the tape was when I last saw it a gazillion years ago. Ah! Ah! I give you the Fist of Iron workout. First things first, AJ the podcaster asked me about great exercises for shoulder rehabilitation. The thing is, us martial artists, we rely a lot on internal rotation, so we get very rounded shoulders. So we should always work on mobility and don't forget the rotations. So not only the internal rotation will help with the movements, but if we care enough for the shoulders, we should do a lot of external rotations to counteract a little bit of that limitation that we get from the practice. And a great exercise that I do for the warm up is something like this. So my elbow will be a little bit lower than my shoulder, and I'm gonna go three seconds all the way down, one, two, three, and then externally rotate. And I start with a little bit, a little tiny weight, but then I go for heavier dumbbells. I want to be strong in this exercise. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Kindergarten cop. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Without kipping, you know? And then getting stronger. <sighs> Hello, Mikey. Now, another great thing and healthy thing that you should do for the shoulders is working the lats. The lats support the shoulders, so a lot of pull-ups, but a lot of concentrated vertical pulling movements, and I like to warm up with, this is a double rubber band because I don't have the medium one, but if I had the medium one, I'd use it. Here, go, and I'm gonna lean forward, I always feel the stretch here, and from here, I take the elbow to my hip. Ah. Ah. And more on the lats later. You move when I tell you to move, pretty boy. And he's pretty? Yeah, yeah, he's kind of pretty. Yeah, we, we agree with you. He is kind of pretty. Can you make it fun of me? No, 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 we're just agreeing that I'm kind of pretty. <laughs> As a way to keep warming up, I'm gonna start doing one, then one, two, only straight punches, all the way to 10. Don't do it. Don't do it, man. You're gonna ruin your life. Don't do it. Don't you dare get in that ring. So don't expect me to give you great tips on boxing because I'm not a boxing per se, but I did have boxing lessons. And one of the most important things is not being there after you punch. So you don't wanna do this one, two, and stay there. And I believe they're gonna give that same tip in the movie as well. We're gonna watch it later. So one of my favorite drills has always been to get in, punch, and get out. Something like this. One, two, three, four. So always have that habit in you. Instead of just going one, two, and staying there, one, two, and retreat. So as swiftly as you can, and once you start kind of jumping, or easing back, easing in, that'll be the best. So let's start with one, Two. Now one, two, three, four with a hook. You gotta stay 
stay relaxed then. Let him wear himself out. You stay cool. Save your energy. Attack, relax. Attack, relax. I'm learning. I'm learning from the effect of my attack. You, you just come in, you just barrel on in there, you'll learn a damn thing. I'm putting pressure on him. Pressure? You only have one chance in a fight. And you gotta be patient. You gotta learn his weaknesses and use it to beat him. <laughs> So a big lesson here from the movie is obviously to train smart. And right now I'm approaching 40, but still I feel better than when I was 25 because I was a meathead working out. I'd be punching the bag for one hour straight because I was so much in love with it without realizing that it's the small things that you do every day, the pieces of the puzzle that actually account for something in the long run. So I did my striking, I did my distance work, but now I'm here for the conditioning and you guys are here for the conditioning too. So today I'm going to mostly work on upper body strength and hypertrophy because of the punches obviously, but in, in between the supersets I'm going to do some sort of static flexibility as if I wanted to recover my legs from previous workouts and I still have my legs pretty fried from yesterday. So I'm going to do a pushing movement with a pulling movement and then as a rest, Jefferson Curl, you're going to watch it all. Let's go. This is a hook kick. Now this is what it's called accommodative resistance because obviously when the, when half of the chain is resting on the floor, it gets lighter. And it, as it goes up, it get, gets heavier. This forces me not to be lazy when I lift that weight. Instead of lifting like, ah, I have to lift like, ah, I have to be, faster and faster as I go, which I also want when I'm doing it for performance. Either I'm throwing a ball, either I'm doing a, a pass, either I'm throwing a punch. So this, in my opinion, is one of the best gadgets for performance, either with rubber bands or with chains. These are 45 pounds each, so they really give a huge stimuli for me to want to lift as quickly as possible. Just Google weightlifting chains and you'll find it in so many stores. Ah! Not enough money to go and fight. Short. Shit. Yeah, what did you do? Sold my car. You sold your car? I don't believe you. Yeah, but without the two grand, we still can't fight. It's not much, but 
And I got 42 bucks. For you. This is beautiful. Uh, would you like anything? No, really. And give me a piece of the action. Good luck. Wow. Hey, good luck. Hey, 58 bucks. Stay on This is community. Keep that in mind for the final quote of today. Now for the last part of the workout, this will be a tricep of tricep extensions. But in this variation, I'm also using my core a lot and then offset carries and then flexibility. So first off will be this. This was a tough one. And now, we usually have a quote at the end of the workout that serves our motivation, but today I have a special treat for you guys. Bringing the quote will be Michael Wirth himself, the star of Fists of Iron, which is an honor and a privilege. Bruno, thank you for watching Fists of Iron. Uh, I almost didn't do it, actually. I just come back from doing Acapulco Heat and um, I kind of sworn off doing, you know, kickboxer goes in and fights for baddest men on the planet kind of movies. I'd already done about three, three of those for PM. But I read the script and, and uh, one Richard Munchkin, the director who I'd known from working at PM had said, um, Sam Jones and Eric Lee were gonna be in. I was like, oh God, those two would be so good together. So there we go. I signed on and did it. And I was glad I did. It was a great experience. Shot in Malibu, can't beat that. And uh, I would say if, if somebody asked me up to this point, picking top 10 favorite fight scenes I've ever done, um, I think at least one of those will be in there, maybe two. Um, the Randy fight with Randy in the lumber yard was always a favorite because it got to work in some uh, JKD trapping. And so anyway, great experience. But as far as a quote, from me, um, not from me, but a quote that I have, think about a lot, which is actually Eleanor Roosevelt said this. Um, she said to gain, I've got to get it right. She said to gain strength, courage, and confidence, you must do things 
that force you to look fear in the face. You must do that which you think you cannot do. And what I, it's not exact, but it's pretty close. And what I liked about it, and I've always liked about it, is, is the idea that what stops us most of the time in our life is our own prevention of our success, right? In other words, you go to an audition or you, you've got a fight or a competition, or whatever it might be, it's rarely gonna be the loss in that competition that haunts you. What's gonna haunt you way more in life is when you don't pursue it. I can tell you anything that I've started to resent in my life is always that I didn't pick it up and, and complete it. Uh, way worse than if I had done it. it, might be a script, it might be a book you wanna write, who knows, right? Um, so my recommendation is extracting from that is to do it all, you know, do those things that you need to do because the resentment later in life is what's gonna, you know, eat you up. So, hope that was uh, something for somebody and uh, <laughs> great watching the show, buddy. Talk to you later. Wow, this was a real honor. I mean, what else can I say on top of this? Thank you so much. Follow Michael Worth. He's also done a lot of writing and directing, so he's had an amazing career so far and it only goes up. And I hope someday I get to work with him. He promised me that, so it, <laughs> he didn't, he didn't. Okay, so guys, hit the like button, share, subscribe to the channel, and let me know what you would like to see next, either movies, which movies, or which techniques slash conditioning tips for martial arts, stunt performers, etc. So I hope this helps, and be Willow Strong. Who's that?